welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's calorie crush the calorie crush is back we haven't got a food diary i haven't yet decided whether or not to go back recording a food diary i might do occasional what i eat in a days i don't think i'm going to go back to doing everyday what i eat in a day either but maybe occasional what i eat in days we'll see we'll see how we go it was my first week with a back on plan mindset i had never really completely been off plan i did six weeks when i didn't record five or six weeks we decided four or five four or five or six weeks i'm not sure there was a period of time when i didn't record videos and i was certainly a little bit less off the leash during that time than i would have been if i'd been recording but i was never completely off plan i always had it in the back of my mind that i was still trying to stick within my calories most days i didn't always succeed but i still had the calorie I had calorie boundary in my head, even if I wasn't religiously staying. Do you say below a boundary? Beyond a boundary? I don't know where you stay with a boundary. This is going well. However, this was the first week when I was fully in my mind, right, you are sticking within these calories. It was difficult to get my head back in the game. Really difficult to get my head back in the game because I've had leeway for this period of time because I've had this leeway and I got used to it and I'd got into some bad habits so my new job I am able to pop to the shop whenever I want to and I'd got in the habit of popping to the shop for a snack and then when I was there I couldn't decide what snack to have so I was buying a selection of snacks to choose from. Anyone who's ever been an overeater of any standard, <laughs> making it sound like those awards, will tell you that when you've got a selection of snacks to choose from there's no choosing. The only choosing you do is which to eat first, not which to eat at all. So I've fallen into this bad habit of buying snacks and, and snacking at work. And in a way, I noticed that I could I could be perfectly good at home before I went to work. I, I could sit at home one morning, be busy and buzz around and do stuff. Sorry, my neckline's annoying me. And then I'd get to work and my brain would go, oh, so we eat now. And I'd start eating and not stop. I've been working on that this week. I've been working on breaking that mindset. I've not eaten out. I've had breakfasts out, but I've not eaten out for evening meals or lunches at all this week. Due to, just to, just to circumstances, really. I think, you know, it hasn't come up apart from one day when I went to the opticians. I'm going to pop this in because I think it's interesting to me, at least, of how my mind works. I had some unsettling news at the opticians. Um, I think I told you guys I went and I was trying very focals again. But I don't know if I mentioned that in last week's video or was it in another video, but I was trying very focals again and they weren't going so well and I made an appointment to go back to the opticians and say, look, they're not going as well as I'd hoped. This is the problem. These are the issues. And they said, oh, we're going to do a retest. And when they did join the retest, the chap said to me, any double vision? And I said, oh, only the normal amount. And he said, sorry, what now? The normal amount? I said, well, yeah, you know, the normal amount everyone gets. And he was like, what do you think is a normal amount? I said, well, you know, as soon as my eyes are relaxed, then I've got double vision. He was like, every time? I was like, yeah, all the time. Until I snapped them back. And he was like, how many times a day do you snap them back? I was like, all the time. You and I don't seem to be on this. Apparently, that's not normal. Apparently, that's not a thing. Apparently, most of you don't have double vision all the time. Well, I didn't know that. I've only ever looked out through my own eyes. And I don't, and he said to me, when did this start? And I said, well, I don't really know. He said, it's been as long as I can remember. It's normal for me. So then he said, okay, I'm going to put the, the massive machine in front of me that you look through. Because remember in the days when you used to go to the optician, if you're my age, you used to go to the optician, you used to be a little pair of glasses. Now it's a huge machine that you peer through. And he said to me, look at the mirror on the wall and focus on the target. And I said, which one? And he said, can you see more than one target? I said, I can see more than one mirror. <laughs> went downhill from there. Apparently I should have had one mirror that I could look square at and in the centre of the mirror there was a crosshair target. I had two mirrors, one up here, one down here. Each of them had half a target and they were nowhere near each other. And he said, OK, I'm going to use this machine. I'm going to alter the, the adjustment or whatever it is he's doing and I'm going to bring them together and you tell me when they match. It was a very long time before they got together, far longer than he had expected. I think at one point he thought I was winding him up because he was like... They must be, I was like, no, they're still nowhere near each other. No, so anyway, the long story short is he said, I'm a bit worried about your eyes. I'm going to refer you to the eye hospital. 
I came out of that appointment feeling a little, a little bit shooketh because I thought it was just a simple thing of my very focals aren't quite right and here I am going to the eye hospital. By the time I'd finished I convinced myself I had some kind of tumour, as you do, you know. I didn't Google, started Googling my symptoms and decided I was dying, you know, didn't do that. But I had convinced myself that it could be something terrible. And my immediate reaction to that was, I'm going to get something nice to eat. I didn't really think of myself as a stress eater much, really. I thought of, I've always thought of myself as a grazer, as a lazy eater, as a greedy person. I know I'm greedy. I know that if I'm enjoying something, I don't want it to stop and therefore I will eat more until it, until it literally has to stop because there isn't any left. But I didn't really think, think of myself much as a stress eater, but that was indicative. The fact that I came out of that appointment and went, I'm going to find something nice to eat. It was a, it was a consolation food. I, know, I want something to console myself for this unsettling news that I've had. I haven't had an appointment with the eye hospital yet, so I don't know whether it's bad news or not. We're going to call it unsettling because it unsettled me. But yes, I wanted consolation food and comfort. I wanted comfort food and, I, and, and therefore perhaps I comfort eat when I'm stressed and I didn't really recognise that before. Interesting. Anyway, I went to a place called Slim Chickens, which is newly opened up at the Mall. I ordered a wrap. I didn't realise it came with fries. I thought I'd ordered a wrap. It came with fries. I ordered coleslaw to go with it because I didn't think it was going to be with fries. And the, 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 there was a bowl of coleslaw that you could have drowned a family of eight in. And it was very, very nice. And calorie wise, if I hadn't eaten the fries, it wouldn't have been that bad. The key that interested me was the trigger of, I'm going to get something nice to eat. That was, that was what I noticed mostly about that incident. So I guess that's something that I need to work on is the, um, you don't have to console yourself or reward yourself with food. We're still working, we're still working on this. It's still a work in progress. Anyway, come with me to the scales. Don't all get on with me. Come with me to the scales. We'll see how I got on this week. Scales time. It's 278.8, I round that up to 279. So I think that's three and a half off. That is three and a half pounds off. I was 282 and a half. That is three and a half pounds off. And I am more than happy with three and a half pounds off. That will do nicely, thank you, sir. I've been out and I've bought myself a few ready meals for this week. Natalie's in Mallorca. I don't think I've mentioned that Natalie was going to me. She's taken the girls, um, Freya and Lexi, she's taken them to Mallorca for a week. It's her first holiday where she has been. What we call it in our house, we call it holiday admin. So when, whenever you have a holiday, there's always one person who does all the admin. There's always one person who does all the booking, all the making sure everybody's got their passports, all the checking. So, for, so previously, of course, that's always been me if she's come away with me because I've been the, the parent. But in this situation, she is the acting parent. She's been holiday admin and she is the responsible adult for the kids. <laughs> she's, I'm, I'm really pleased that she's doing it because in some ways she's not very brave in, the, in those kind of things. So I was really pleased that she decided she would do this. And they've arrived, she's just FaceTimed me to say it's absolutely belting down with rain. But um, I'm sure they're going to have a lovely time. Anyway, my point is I've been out and I've bought myself some ready meals for this week because um, I'm going to want something simple. I'm doing extra hours at work and stuff. I'm doing extra hours this work and I'm doing extra dog walks. So I thought I'm just going to want some very simple, easy meals. So I've been out, popped out to Sainsbury's yesterday on the way back from the airport from dropping them off and I picked up three or four ready meals. So I've got ready meals this week for most of my main meals. I am working, I will take packed lunches to work or whatever. It'd be interesting to see how this week pans out. I certainly won't be able to blame Natalie if I overeat, will I? Because she's not here to be the blame. <laughs> I'm going to do my board. Somebody asked last week where my board came from. I got it on Etsy. It's not a sponsored item. It wasn't gifted to me. Although when I mislaid some of the pieces, the lady very did very kindly did gift me an entire new set of the pieces. So semi-gifted, I suppose. I always link it below the calorie videos because so many of you like it and so many of you want to get one. And I love it. I think it's great. It just has little holes. My little pieces are blue tacked on. You don't have to blue tack them on. If you just hang your board on the wall and don't faff about with it, the pieces will stay on. But because I'm constantly taking them out, because it hangs in my photo area, this is my photo area for eBay. So I hang it there to do the videos and I'm constantly moving it and I was losing the bits and mine are blue tacked on. That is a very long winded sentence. Anyway, my point is you don't have to use blue tack. I use blue tack on mine and the pieces just slot in and I'm going to take off nearly all of these because I, I was on six stone, 13 and a half pounds of weight loss. And I am now going to be on seven stone, 
three pounds. I've got my seven stone star back. Try saying that when you're drunk. Seven stone star. I wanted to lose half a pound this week, didn't I? I want, obviously, I wanted to lose more, but I really wanted that half a pound to get my seven stone back to feel like I'd, I've lost seven stone. So the three pound is even better. Seven stone, three pounds of weight loss so far. I feel like I'm back in the game. I feel like I'm back on the wagon. I feel like I'm back on the leash. All of the things. I'm back on all of the things. The board is linked in the description box below. Somebody else also asked where my bracelet came from. I wasn't wearing my bracelet because I wasn't entitled to wear it because it's got a seven stone thing on there. So these are, it's from notch.io. Again, linked in the description box. This was gifted to me and I do have a discount code that saves you, I think 10%, but also in the description box. However, I'm not 100% sure whether that discount code is still active because this was over 18 months ago that it was gifted to me, but it's worth trying. Um, and I have, you can buy all of these little things separately and have them engraved, personalised to suit you. Mine say, onwards and downwards, I've got my six stone award on there. I've got Carla's Calorie Crush. Oh, I think it just says Calorie Crush. I've got Weight Loss Warrior and I've got my seven stone award on there. So the idea is that each time you achieve a new milestone, you get a new notch. They're called notches. A new notch for your bracelet. And I am entitled to wear mine again now because I have re-qualified now for that seven stone one. They're just magnetic, so they're really easy to put on. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased to have lost three and a half pounds this week. I'm very pleased to feel back on track. I want to go on now. I want to get the seven and a half back on there because at one point we had, we, at one point I had lost over seven and a half stone I know I had I was approaching towards the eight stone and then it all went wrong so let's let's pull it back let's get back let's get that stuff back on there get this back off get that back on and I just want to say as well thank you to so many of you for your hugely supportive comments when I said that I was bringing the calorie crush back hundreds of comments all saying you were pleased there were a lot of comments saying oh ignore the haters ignore the negative comments i want to i want to stress that a lot of the comments that i had taken offense at weren't necessarily nasty or negative or hateful i wasn't receiving trolling hate comments on the videos i was just not taking criticism well at all and some comments were phrased in a way that i took offense to but they weren't nasty they weren't majorly negative some of them were just phrased in a way in which to which I took offence so why I'm doing this I think I've turned into Tony Blair <laughs> so yeah I, um, a lot of you said oh you know ignore the nasty people I'd, I'd just like to say that those people who who wrote the comments I took offence to if you're reading those comments I know you weren't nasty I know you weren't I know that I was maybe just really oversensitive but thank you to, to all of you who are glad the calorie crush is back massive kudos to all of you who have said that it's going to get you back on your wagons that you're going to get back on your plans that you've also let things slide and that this is going to be the catalyst excuse the cough i mean i'll have edited out all the actual coughs so you won't hear them but excuse the jumping where i'm coughing yeah massive kudos to all of you who have said that's it i'm also getting back on the wagon with you we are all on the wagon together and i hope you're all doing well if you have had a successful week please do put whatever you've lost into the comments below if you've had a difficult week please put that in the comments below and maybe somebody will come along and support you. I'll try. And remember that it's all the whole one day at a time. Deal with what's in front of you right now mentality. It's not a race. I suppose it's a race against time in a way, but apart from that, it's not a race. And you do you and all of my other platitudes that I come out with regularly. Thank you for joining me. I will see you for next week's Calorie Crush. Take care. Bye for now.